Hey there, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss Sinatra Ruby library. Uh, as you know Sinatra can be used for our app development and compared to Ruby on Rails it is very small and you, do, you have to do a very less stuff to get it uh, keep running right so keeping all the good things and bad things about Sinatra side in this tutorial so basically we are going to see the installation part and we will get the hello world tutorial running first thing to do is we have to install the gem okay so I have used sudo because on my system uh, it will be showing some errors while installing gem so if that's your case then you can also use sudo gem install Sinatra if not then just use this default gem install Sinatra okay the installation will start and it will be installed very quickly depending on your internet connection once installed we will create example file and type require say not wrong and now we will just paste in the code on the website and save it as hi.ruby I'm just going to the projects folder and going to sh save it as hi dot rb okay so our project folder is here okay so once we do that all we have to do is go to the directory cd documents cd checks okay and then type ruby high dot rb now our Sinatra is running. So let's go to our directory. Okay, so our code is here. So it should show us hello world. If you see this page that means Sinatra is running properly and all you need to do is just look to the slash and it should show you the code which is usually typically our hello world slash high so when we do that localhost co colon 4567 slash high it should show us this code you can change it to something else like this is first Sinatra tutorial save the file and now 
below this okay so we have to restart the server now let's check it again okay this is first Sonata tutorial so whenever you do the changes and want to update this page all you have to do is restart the server because if you often what happens is the current changes are not cached unless the server is reset once the server is reset the new changes will be picked up by the file till then it will only show you the earlier result of our code okay so this is our typical installation in sinatra default tutorial i hope you're finding this useful because in next few tutorials i'm going to go in depth tutorials on sinatra so i'll see you then bye